action. All right, so you're here in the Crowfoot studio with me. Uh, it's our second take. I just cleaned this up, ready to go. Completely sealed with Mod Podge, all cut and assembled by hand. The small little signature on the front. I didn't want to put it on the, on, in the corner because it'd be too distracting. So I have my resin poured. Come check it out. Here it is. This is one gallon. It's about $150 worth of resin. If you look under this light, you can see the glitter in there. Uh, maybe, maybe or not, maybe not. Doesn't matter. Anyway, watch this. Here we go. Let's pour that all on. Big pile. Oh, so satisfying. And you can definitely see the glitter here now. I'll just take as much as I can out of this jar. I'll use a little bit of it after just to coat the sides. So there you go. Step one done. Now for the fun part. Get my trowel, which I tried to clean as best as possible. And then we just drag it out. Drag it out. All the way around. Just get some sides. Get the sides. Just coat the whole piece. At the end of the day, it's only about an eighth inch thick, the resin, each pour. But you really just need enough to coat your piece. You don't need to go any thicker unless you want that look. Here we go, it's gonna drag it out. Once it gets to the edge, I'm going to work it around the sides. Let's work it back and forth. So now I'll just go get a little closer to the edges. So I'll do that. Yeah. And the teeth inside the trowel let the resin through so it goes on a little flatter. That's what's great about a tool like this. Even if you're Making a smaller piece, you can still use a tool with this, these sort of teeth on it. It helps you get it a little bit more, move it around flatter. So you see how it's getting it right out to the edges here. And I'll do that here. And go like at that. Woohoo! So satisfying. And there we go. And that's uh, pretty much how I do it. I'm gonna pull back this way because I want a little bit more on this side. I think they a little bit fit right here. This is the way we end up doing it. With no waste. So now it'll sort of flatten out. It's a little bit, maybe a little bit uh, thin here. So I'll just pull a little bit this way and let it settle. I level the table first. Oh, hey. Uh, I level the table first before I do it, but um, that's pretty much it. I put my tool down over here, and I'll close with my gloves, as I showed you before, and we work this, all the pieces into the over the, the corners and then down the sides. So that's what I'll do. I'm just going to work it all around, and that's it. Thanks for watching.